Hello, my bronze bulls. It's your boy Zionic Blader, and welcome to another worst to best video. This time, we will be ranking each Maxator Ultra from worst to best. We will be looking at its overall stats, its evolutions, and its place in decks. But enough talk, let's get on with the list. Maxator Ultra is a Bakugan based off the mighty Minotaur of Legend. However, mighty this is not. Every single Maxator Ultra is bad. So it is tough for me to make a list from worst to best when all of them are the worst. But at number 4 we have Ventus Maxator Ultra. The main faction for this Bakugan and it sets off the tone for the rest of his brethren. However in his case he is a vanilla Bakugan through and through with mediocre stats. The only thing this guy has going for it is that he comes in a diamond form so that you collectors out there can feverishly sweat over it. Number 3 Pyrus Maxator Ultra. Honestly, this guy is just a weaker version of Chaos Maxator Ultra, who, spoiler alert, is ranked second on this list. He has a high damage at the expense of B power, which makes him a candidate for a Might and Mac deck, but decks using Might and Mac exclusively to win are never good. Might and Mac are more of a help for Fury decks early game since their Bakugan tend to have higher damage ratings, but then in Fury tend to even out their B powers to help them in the long run. Number 2, Chaos Maxator Ultra. Starting off, we see it have low B power and high damage. High damage could see it play in Might and Mac decks, but then again, it has similar problems that I've just discussed with Pyrus Maxator Ultra. It is expensive to evolve, but the only saving grace is that it does let you play a hero card for free, so you could combo it with Mac, so at least that's a plus. Number 1, Aurelis Maxator Ultra. Funnily enough, this guy is actually quite sought after, as it is one of the few Aurelis Ultra Bakugan only to be released in a single pack. So it is a bit harder to find, but as a Bakugan itself, it's not that good. He was a choice for Helix Core decks back when you only had to play with Wave 1, but because there was no competitive scene back then, that's entirely irrelevant. Helix Core decks are pretty vanilla with no support cards for them, so they completely base off their usefulness from the cards they bring in with their faction. Aurelis barely has any faction cards, and Aurelis Maxator Ultra's boost isn't high enough to warrant sacrificing an entire pool of cards to use. But anyways, agree? Disagree? Let me know in the comments section below. Like the video? Hit the like button, or don't, I'm not the boss of you. But be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload. Until next time, see ya!